Hyper family, now it is time for the long awaited lineup update. As you can see right here, our top players are Cromartie, Robert Griffin, Joey Porter, Bo Jackson, and Shannon Sharp. But hey, I promise you the team is way more deeper than what it appears on top. Let's go on and get into it. So now starting here, we're gonna just start with our offensive line. We do still have the free pairs, Johnson Jr. Only because I feel as if there's not, there hasn't been a good significant upgrade for right tackle. And I also didn't choose my uh, free Hall of Fame player to be that Joe Thomas. Gene Upshaw is right here with no abilities for the simple fact of, hey, it was good stats. And then also, I think I got him for around 430,000 coins. And so LTD is a quick sell for 350. And so that would only be about 110K, 120K for that LTD. And I feel as if like that's not bad for an 87 overall. Right here, we do have Ryan Kelly because we had to downgrade our Kevin Mawai from the 83 overall, 85 overall that I did have him at because the uh, team captains, they now are, can go up to an 87 overall. And I just felt as if I would have better success using those upgrade tokens on Eric Berry rather than having it on my center. We got the uh, Logan Makins. If you have not seen my Campus Hero uh, pack opening video, I highly advise y'all should go check that out. Dan Deerdorf, we had just straight up bought him off of the auction block. No specific reason. Like, he's a good right tackle, the, the highest overall right tackle in the game currently. And so that's pretty much like the whole basis of our offensive line. We was either able to get him for really cheap or we're able to just break even on it and so when we do decide to sell them we're not losing too many coins now here we go for tight end tight end shannon sharp is by far the best tight end in this game and the whole reason why i love this car so much is for this right here that three ap short and elite granted yes it is three ap that is half of my offensive ability points right here and we had to take our slot apprentice off of Jerry Rice and Matador off of Gene Upshaw. But when I legit tell you this, this has opened up my offense so much and made people just quit because they can't just run man defense on my tight end and just press him at the and just press him and nobody gets open. I can always guarantee you Shannon Sharp is going to get open on any type of man coverage with that. And the only reason why I'm able to afford that 3 AP is because I don't have Warren Moon. Warren Moon was never worth it to me when he first came out with just having Gunslinger. Granted, yes, he does have all the best throwing, all the best throwing stats in the game with Gunslinger and all that. But Gunslinger is not even a velocity ability. It just speeds up the animation. So I was like, there's no need for me to spend all of that if the ball isn't going to get there quicker. It's just coming out of my hands faster. And so that we'll discuss that a little bit now for tight end number two we have michael mayer you get him for free by doing the campus hero solo challenges and if you're unable to afford shannon sharp granted this guy does not get short in elite but he is definitely a viable free option definitely you you should all everyone should have this michael mayer on the team i want to say he has 85 speed and just decent route running all around but that 85 speed is definitely like a huge upgrade from uh, the Evan Ingram that I did have right there. And also Shannon Sharp was upgraded from Brenton Strange, which is probably the best budget tight end for Campus Heroes, if I do say so myself. Tight end number three, I don't run triple tight end sets, so Luke Shoemaker is just right there just for the fun of it. Right here, we do have Jerry Rice. They did just release a Devontae Adams. For the aka promo today um we're definitely going to be hopping into some of those special offers in a later video but right here jerry rice definitely a good overall car good speed good route running unfortunately like i said he doesn't have the slot apprentice on him anymore for me to be able to afford that uh short and elite but the way that i run stuff and the way that everything is going out with what i do hey just having him with just the great route running is fine enough Right here, we do have the free DeAndre Hopkins that you get from the field pass. Not much to be said about this card. Like, he's not the fastest. He only has 84 speed. But the reason why he is my starting wide receiver three instead of, um, I forgot who I had right there at the beginning. Uh, I had Justin Jefferson.
Granted, I'm losing one speed, but I am gaining a lot in route running. And route running, especially against this man coverage meta, whenever I just need DeAndre Hopkins to like run an out route or run an in route, hey, that's good enough to get the job done for me to create enough separation to go and fit into that window. Right here, we have Bo Jackson, which is by far the best running back that I have used all year with the size and speed. And he also has two AP jukebox on him. The juking in this year's game is so good. Jukebox just automatically just made sense to me. I was running running back apprentice on him, but until I get a hot route master quarterback, like I don't feel like it's all that necessary in the scheme that I'm running currently right now. So I went on and took that off of him and I got jukebox. And frankly, I felt as if that's probably the best decision I'd have made with my running back. Next at our running back number two, because I do have two running back schemes sometimes is Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor, he done been on the team since he's been released after I had pulled him. Definitely a great card, good speed, not the best catching, but hey, what I do need him to do, he does well. And that's all you can really just ask for in your backup running back. And now we have Frank Gore. He's just there for the uh, team captain chemistry, really. And RG3, definitely everyone should be using this card um great speed 90 throw power the only thing that you would like to see is a higher mid accuracy so he can have 85 85 and um 85 for his throwing thresholds but i promise you you do not recognize that he only has 83 mid accuracy especially when having gift wrapped on yeah he does get some under pressure throws but that's when any type of card until we're able to get fearless and frankly i have zero problems with him i sold my Jameis winston for this card and like i said never owned warren moon and i definitely have no reason now to even own warren moon we're not finna go into the fullback he's just there and devin hester a hey, speed kills and that's the only thing that i really just have to say about devin he definitely does get open on crossing routes um when it's time to throw it to him now we do have at our free safety. So, hey, this is when the defense get kind of crazy. We have Deflator on Sean Taylor. Um, not the biggest fan of this Sean Taylor card based on his player model. But with 88 speed, 91 zone coverage, with a 90 hit power and 81 strength, he has definitely caused a lot of fumbles for me. The only gripe that I would have is that 55 man coverage. Like, when I do need to run a quick little man blitz or something like that of that nature, he will get beat, but that's when my user has to, you know, take control of that whole situation right there. Next, for our strong safety, because we don't use any linebackers in our scheme, so we're not going to just go over those. We have 87 overall Cam Chancellor with Stonewall. Cam is just an overall beast of a card standing at six foot three with 88 zone coverage so he meets that 85 zone coverage threshold until we're able to hit to that 90 point like sean taylor does but 87 speed 85 excel with the 70 man coverage you would like it to be better but hey it's cam chancellor he's gonna make the plays for you especially with that six three body frame definitely don't have any type of issues with that Next on the list, we do have the Campus Hero LTD, Joey Porter. I have been enjoying this car so much with 87 speed. But the thing is that I like most about him is that he able to hit that 90-man coverage, but also 88 zone. Definitely the most well-balanced corner in the game when it comes to speed and coverage. And he also comes with a 81, as I, if I can get down to it, an 81 hit power which is amazing for a corner and so like that's really like the main reason also standing at six foot two cornerback number three we have aj terrell which is universal coverage all of my corners are using universal in case you know you have to go into main and they get a pick and then they're pretty much activated for an entire drive and everything will be knocked out so joey porter not joey porter uh aj terrell 86 speed, 86 excel, 82 man coverage. He definitely gets beat in man coverage a lot. But that 89 zone makes up for it when I have him playing in the flats. And also the same with Jalen Ramsey right here. Um, we're close to getting him up to this 88 overall. But for right now, he's rocking 88 man coverage and 87 zone. 
with 85 speed. So hopefully once we go on to get that other upgrade for him, he'll probably move up to right here, either where AJ Terrell is at or where I have this Antonio Cromartie. Um, if you have not checked out my YouTube short, you will see exactly how we got this Cromartie again after that big pack opening that we just had this Saturday. But six foot two, 88 speed, 90 man coverage, and also 85 zone. So he's barely hitting that threshold with 85 zone. But hey, when I tell you Cromartie has definitely been making plays on the team, our starting right end is Jav Javon Kearse right here. And not much to say, but listen, 84 speed, 89 Excel with that 88 finesse move. 88 finesse move has definitely, like, it's definitely the main thing that you need in your edge rushers. Like, I can't stress it enough because of how many of the left tackles and the right tackles that are in this game that does not have a good pass block finesse. Javon Curse and Aiden Hutchinson have to be the two best pass rushers I didn't use all year. And this is coming from somebody. I had Bruce Smith on my team for seven straight games of Mud Champs, and he was only able to get two sacks. Two sacks. And frankly, that Bruce Smith, he was not playing to what his stats say they should have been. Like, not at all. But this Aiden Hutchinson with 88 Excel with 81 speed and an 87 finesse move, played 10 times better and still playing 10 times better than that Bruce Smith. Like I, I really did not enjoy that card at all. Brian Brise has just been lights out. I don't know what it is about this card for me, but he is constantly making plays in the backfield for whatever reason. I'm not saying that his stats are good by any means, but this card just plays crazily. And so let's go on and go over here and round it off into our specialists. As you can see, Jerry Rice is still our slot receiver, and our primary user is Eric Berry with, I want to say, 86 speed. He has on him, yes, 86 speed. And, hey, I have no, no complaints about him being my user right now. Our two slot corners are Ramsey and A.J. Terrell. And for our strategies, we are running the balanced offense and the 4-6 defense. If y'all would like me to have a breakdown of the offensive plays and defensive schemes that I do run, just let me know down below. But that'll just about do it for me, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on these videos. We are on that grind to 1,000 subscribers. And as always, I love you all tremendously. And until next time, my brothers and sisters, I'm out.